It is logical that the United States should do whatever it is able to do to assist in the return of normal economic health in the world. Our policy is directed not against any country or doctrine, but against hunger, poverty, desperation, and chaos. The alignment between Nazi Bolshevism and Soviet fascism is just what the world should have expected. Both are ruthless dictatorships founded on hatred and maintained by the Soviet time of American security. Interrupt this broadcast to bring you this important bulletin from the United Press. Flash, Washington. The White House announces Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor. 1941. A date which will live in infamy. The United States of America was suddenly and deliberately attacked by naval and air forces of the Empire of Japan. many months. The eyes of the world are upon you. The hopes and prayers of liberty-loving people everywhere march now with you. Now it is disclosed that fewer than 400 Marines held the Wake Island for at least 14 days against heavy Japanese attacks. The Marines had 12 fighter planes and a small quantity of weapons. They were commanded by a 38-year-old Marine Major, James. Do you know the year ended with a setback for our arms when the Germans launched a ferocious counterattack into Luxembourg and Belgium with the obvious objectives of cutting our line in the center. Our men have fought with indescribable and unforgettable gallantry under most difficult conditions. The high tide has just returned to Supreme Allied Headquarters from the French Invasion Beaches report that all main points have been gained and that reinforcements are pouring across the channel in an unprecedented and forced the German withdrawal along most of the line of the salient. The speed with which we have recovered from the savage attack. Today, the American forces in strength are within actual sight of Germany. Some of them in patrols have already crossed into Germany itself. I learned that the American patrol had gone over the border when I went up to the front lines of the Third Army late last night. Because of heavy enemy resistance between left and right sea, our withdrawal from the German line has been delayed for several days. Our forces have been able to cross the border and reach the front lines of the Third Army. But early today, with advanced units of the Third Army, I was able to look across into Germany itself. A vivid demonstration of how far this tremendous army has gone and how fast it has burned. How is that, Semley? Uh, it's still going. And now they're shooting at us.